Welcome back. Today I finally had some time for myself because I was at the technology fair all week as shown here and I just came back from there. That's why I have a proper, premium proper attire for myself with tie, jacket, suit pants, yeah. Now I decided to show you some updates to my channel. So, as you can see on my desk, I have got I have finally gotten some speakers for the white box PC I showed you in the last video. So yeah, let's power them on. They also have a volume and tone knob. That's amazing. And now let's fire up the PC to let you see the first time. For the first time the Windows XP startup sound on this computer. And I fixed a fan problem by the way which caused me to go in a full on Romanian swearing rage by replacing the fan on, a, on another dead socket 75753 motherboard that was originally used for the iPhone 64. I also like the BIOS on that better but I couldn't replace it because this motherboard wouldn't accept it for love or money. Or money. So yeah, let me... Yeah. If that doesn't bring you back memories, you're just weird, my friend. Or you're too young to have used Windows XP. Which is highly... Highly impossible. It's pretty impossible. Who hasn't used Windows XP except for my grandma? She uses Kubuntu on her netbook that I gave her. Fuck you. And yeah, well, well, nothing much has changed since the last time I have installed my. Shut up, my Warbytes. And. I have installed the printer utilities and some random games from a CD compilation that I have that I will show you in another video. I have also installed MIDI Jam, very nice program, and also Sims City for Deluxe. But it doesn't want to cooperate with me. Just wait, wait just a minute. I have the original game box here. So let's insert the CD and see it blew up. Shut up, box. Stop rattling around. There we go. Now let's try and restart SimCity 4 Deluxe. The original retail disc that my mother gave me as a gift for my birthday 2004. At the same time with my computer and Fly Simulator 2004. Which I would show you in a possible part 3. Unless it happens, I'm like, that landed to C600 stuff. There we go. And yeah, speaking of the Dell landed to C600, and uh, yeah, SimCD4, just how I remember it. Yeah, back to the subject. Speaking of. Here's the Dell Attitude 6600. It's still in pretty good cosmetic shape, but I couldn't get it to repair. It just won't boot. Sometimes it would boot. The fans will spin, the hard drive will get access, the floppy drive or CD ROM will seek, but no display on the screen. I suspect the video chip is bad. I don't know. It may be the video chip, the motherboard, I tried everything. The RAM, the 
I removed the network in card inside or it could be the CPU I wanted to get an upgrade from 800 megahertz Pentium 3 anyway perhaps to a higher clock but I have to find the processor that uses the micro BGA2 socket that is inside this getting to the getting to the processor is no big deal but getting a processor in the first place it's pretty hard if you don't have a parts computer uh -huh. I would do an autopsy video later on on the Dell Attitude 6600 if it indeed turns out to be completely dead, useless as a brick. So, the good news about that is that I made part 2 and 3. I promised 3 parts. Part 1 is that where I showed you the stuff. Part 1.5 is the video with the 2008 digital camera doohickey. Part 2 is Part two question mark is when that video when in the first video in here called the death of the Delight 2600. Watch it if you don't. Shameless promotion. And part three will be this autopsy video. And if if I manage to repair this, I would come and return with proper parts two and three. So we can end this all over again. I really want to get this computer back to work. It is a very nice computer, it has pretty compelling specs. What can you ask from a 800 megahertz Pentium 3 with 500 megabytes of RAM running Windows 2000? Yeah. I'm planning to get on a 2.5 to 3.5 inch IDE adapter and image the Windows 2000 hard drive in there. It's only 20 gigs, it will have plenty of space on the 200 gigabytes hard drive in the White box PC. Uh, dreams, dreams. Now let's get out of SimCity 4 and I don't know. What can I show you but not getting copyright flagged? Maybe Jen is out of the question. Oh, Log is more sweet. Let's see. Log is one, two, three. And yet, this is Lotus 123 as seen in 2004. For those of you old school vintage PC guys, or guys that have actually used Lotus 123 back in 81, 82, 83, when DOS was king, you may remember this, but with the addition of some Microsoft Works, uh, Microsoft Office like stuff like. The main bar here, no, no, other stuff, but the main document writing stuff. Let me see if I can make a nice table. Uh, no, print properties. No, I have. A, I don't use Lotus One Two Three that much. I use uh, Microsoft Excel. Like any other box standard human would. But I am. I really want to take up Lotus 1 to 3 just for the novelty of it. Otherwise, it's just uh, a regular Excel type spreadsheet program. Google Earth doesn't work, FileZilla doesn't work. And now, for the bomb of the show, the most interesting game ever on this computer. In your applause is... Solitaire! Yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just playing some Solitaire. I haven't played Solitaire for like... Two hours. Don't mind me. Also, playing this on Windows XP is a real blast to the past. I have played this on almost every Microsoft operating system except DOS. 
It doesn't exist and thus existed not in this form. I played it on Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows NT 4.0, let's not forget the precursor to 2000 XP and all the operating system today up to Windows privacy issues aka dead. Yeah, what? Why did I sound so 2015 right there? And yeah, IDA32, the classic benchmarking program that proclaims it the worldwide system tool, and it is. And it is. And yeah, we can get some a computer somewhere in Windows XP. Should let me blow this full screen for you. CPU type unknown. Wrong. AMD Sampron 3000 Plus running at 1.8 GHz with overclocking potential. I have tried it to overclock it to 2.1 GHz, but then it won't refuse, and I had to reset the CMOS. Yeah, GeForce FX 5500 with an AMD fan, as shown in the previous video, and Force 3 chipset. Let's get some more details. Windows XP Professional for the Whistler Unit Processor Free Service Pack Free Professional. Yeah. Let's do a benchmark. This computer ranks number one. The eleventh place on the IDA forty two memory retest and let's see memory write test. Twelfth place. Yeah. I know. The the systems here shown are pretty good spec. Yeah, you can see some Athlon sixty four FXs, XP thirty two hundred, uh Penny four I would trend it with with RD RAM yeah and they have higher clock DDR memory yeah I guess that's pretty much it I don't know what to say we will be back with many videos the Lenti 6600 autopsy let's play games on the white box PC Maybe an overview of my main computer. I know some. I don't know if I get some classy stuff unboxing. And if I have the money, I plan on building a vintage 1999 gaming PC. Stay tuned for that. And until then, keep safe and thanks for watching.